Good morning, Precious. We just took the kitchen cabinets out of the teardown house, Precious. We delivered them now to the guy that bought them. Who wants to buy the hardwood floor from the teardown house also. Hi, honey. I'm home now. Did you just wake up? Quick, get back in bed. Lol. What? That's too early. Angels don't wake up until 2 p.m. Lol, I'll explain it on the phone. It's supposed to start raining hard here soon and not stop until tomorrow night. With wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. What are you going to do today? I'm bored. It's raining now. I have things to do, but most of it is outside and it's raining and the things I need to do inside require two fully functional hands. I laid down with Sadie for a few minutes but started falling asleep so I got up. Have to get Roy at four, then go to Walmart and get a calling card. Yep, I buy one every month for $35 and get unlimited talk and text. I need to figure out how much I need to sell the hobble for the teardown house for. The same guy wants a door too. I check them in tomorrow morning. That's going to be a pain in the ass because that's when it's supposed to be raining the hardest. I didn't forget, honey. I just had to wait until I got more money because I had to make the payment on your ring and pay the light bill last week. I'm trying to get more work now. And I talked to this morning. I need to talk to him more about getting the word out. I called about the business cards, but they're not ready yet. I texted the lady in medicine to let her know that I can work Wednesday and Thursday, but I have to be careful with my hand. I'm surprised I haven't heard back from her yet. Are you sure? Because I have my surgery Tuesday. No, I just knew that I didn't have the money to do it till tomorrow, so that's when I planned it for. I would have done it Saturday if and her dad had gotten the cabinets like we planned. Did you check out the GoDaddy.com thing? Why not? Honey, if you put your old shows on there, it'll make money for you and you won't have to do anything for it. Assuming that you recorded your shows. Did I tell you that both Curious and Burger got in front of me so I can pet them when I go into the chicken house? It's funny. York Signs just called me, honey. Our business cards came in, so I'm going to get them before I get Roy. Do you see the pink? That's my precious angel. Where are you? Sorry, I interrupted your precious time at Raw tonight. I don't know why I bother sending any message. You don't even know I send them because you're so engrossed in spending time with Rod. But if I called, it might take your attention away from Rod long enough to send me a message. With the way you've been acting, I guess I should have known that it wouldn't. Yeah, because you rather spend time with Rod, so that's just another excuse. You can tell me that little internet virgin bitch boy to find someone else. And yeah, you know my messages like you know my phone calls because you want to spend time with that cocksucker. Want to tell me that's not fucked up? That's a good way to show that I'm mad at you, Jamie. Real nice. With the way you acted tonight, I'm not sure that it's me that you want anymore. I felt more like that it's Rod that you want. He's a virgin, and you've told me multiple times you want a virgin. He has money, and that's something you mentioned, and you forgot about me to talk to him. And I don't know how much time you spend with him every day, but it's obviously more than what I knew, so things are not being completely honest in that area. You showed yourself for him on cam at least once. I don't know if it was more than that or not. You didn't give a shit about spending time with me tonight. All you had was rot in your brain. If that's the way you think that you're going to treat me, then you may as well tell me we're through, because I'm not going to accept being treated like that. I won't be put second in the trash. Good morning, my precious lady. Fine, you win again. I'll ask about the bumpers. I'm stretching, honey, so I can try to wake my ass up more. Your meat man is in, my love. Your hair is getting longer, honey. My god, boo, I love your eyes so much. So pretty. Damn, I love you. I have bad news, honey. I'm calling you. Okay. Maurice, say what? Ten graphic tees. Today only in stores and online. Plus, don't forget to use your rewards. Reply, rewards. At any time to view your certificates. Shop now at https colon slash slash mauritius dot attn dot tv slash i slash whg slash o z n nine zero expiry six to nineteenth stop to end calling don't answer no I, I thought you did for a minute i love you it helped more when i had you in my ear I'm at the store right now getting drinking gage. I'll be at Tony's and Wendy's in about ten minutes. 
Almost there, honey. This is gonna be hard. I miss you. Colin, don't answer. I had to come home first, honey, but I called Aunt Sharon, so I'm going to be there to get the money and take it to Wendy. Don't answer the phone if I call, because I might want to sing to you or leave you a message while I'm driving. I'll text you when I get back home, okay? I'm home, honey. Listen to your voicemail. Okay, okay. Honey, I'm going to lay down with your picture for a bit, okay? Call me if you want to. Okay, honey. Sorry my messages are sending slow. No, I just want to lay down and have you close to me any way I can right now. Yes. I am actually holding you on my chest. Want me to take another one? Hang on. I forgot to turn the chicks light on, so I went out and I did that. They're all outside in the pen, but it's warm out and the heat lamp is on outside and I left the little door open so they can go in whenever they want to. And I miss you and I wish I could hold you tonight. I'm really upset, boo. I was so much looking forward to putting my meat in your pushy tonight. <laughs> I guess you left your phone behind again. I hate being away from you, boo. How did I not see your beauty a long time ago? When you get here from Nashville, I don't want you to leave. I mean, I want you to stay and I'll start our lives together. Have your stuff in California sent here and you put your house up for sale from here, but I want you with me forever. Now I'm confused. I mean, how did I not see how precious you are when I was with Wendy? I wish I could be inside you right now. I can't get enough of you. See? Just thinking about you does this. Yeah, no. I want to be, but I wouldn't be as fun. Boo, I seriously don't want you to leave when you get here from Nashville. I'm not crying, but I am still really upset. It's hard for me to believe. What are you wearing now, honey? Swimming. Oh, I thought you meant actually swimming. Boo, do you agree with me to not leave when you get here? I'm talking about when you come here from Nashville. I don't want you to leave. Jamie, I'm asking you to marry me. Will you marry me? I can't help it. I never want to be without you. You're all I think about 24-7. You're everything to me, Jamie. Please say yes. I'm going to marry you, boo. Nobody else fits me like you do. I'm going to try to sleep again, boo. I love you. Good morning, my beautiful wife-to-be. Honey, can you call me when you wake up, please? Honey, are you awake yet? Are you okay, honey? He wouldn't let you use his phone? Tell Will I want to talk to him. Does he not want to talk to me? It didn't ring through. I'll put it by the window. Okay, honey, I just called you. Are you going to call me? I just called you again. Honey, give me a couple of minutes to calm down. He can call me back. I love you. Here's your closet door, honey. It would have all been framed in if I would have had two two-by-fours. Got another pick coming. It took some time to make the door to that size because of all the glue and metal I had to take off, plus going around the electrical. Let's keep it that way, honey. The surprise finding out really sucks when you know you have to take it all apart. What are you doing? Oh, is Will going to let you use his phone to call me? Okay. Are you going to ask him? I don't mean right now, honey. I mean when you're ready to call me. Why not? He doesn't mind bugging us at any given time. You know, honey, if you were to look on the internet, I bet you could find some assisting talking machine. Okay. Okay. Next summer? Okay, we can decide on the year later. At the Three House Island place still? Wow, that is beautiful, honey. No one near as beautiful as the bride will be, but it'll work. I need to reword that because I've been staring at your poster. Not anywhere near as the bride is. Wow, honey. That is really pretty. And that does the reception too? Those houses are big. Does it say the price? Okay. Does it say how many people the house should hold? I mean, as far as can sleep, honey. Okay, my love. What town did you say that was near, honey? I thought Green was near Lewiston. Is that the island? On this ocean? Or a lake? Sebago Lake is in that area. That's a pretty big lake. Oh, okay. 
That makes sense now. Damn it, honey. The groom is not supposed to see the bride the night before the wedding. They say it's bad luck. Bah. I'm not superstitious, though. Heh. <laughs> Wait, honey. I want to have sex with you on that beach at that night. I've had planned that since you first showed me that pic. Heh. <laughs> we can wear blindfolds and have someone lead us to the beach with a blanket and leave us there for two hours. Are we staying at that same place the night of our wedding? Lol. I want to have sex with you on that beach, my beautiful love, Lily. Let's do it next summer, honey, okay? I want to do it while my mom has an easier time of walking. Is that okay? Okay. Do you think they have miniature golf on that island? Or horseshoes? Are you still reading on the Three Houses Island? I love you. I wish you were laying here with me. I'm spread eagle read now, honey. It's what? Yep. Want proof? Is this too far away? Okay. I don't have to wear pink underwear with my pink tux, right? What are you doing tonight? I want to talk about your drinking, honey. It's bad for your voice. It's a depressant. It's out of control and it needs to stop now. And there's nothing fun or funny about it. Do you remember Will seeing you naked last night? You're drinking alcohol again. There were two questions I asked. Which is the question mark for? It's obvious you don't give a shit about answering my questions. Yeah, you were naked when you saw him. You're stumbling the hallway naked and running into walls trying to get more alcohol. If you have alcohol now, then it's time to dump it because it's causing a lot of problems. I'm going to sleep. I love you. Good night. Will saw you naked. You already know my feelings about that. He wrapped a blanket around you and led you to your bed. And then him and I talked. And that's where all the arguing with him and me started. He also told me that nobody else wanted to drink last night. Only you. It's time to dump the alcohol because it's causing problems. And it's bad for your voice. And it's a depressant. Don't blow it off as nothing, Jamie. Dump the fucking shit right now. Good night. Promise me? So now you're nice and drunk again. And by the way, you asked me the other day, Titch or Ash? I said Titch. Well, I didn't get to see you, Titch. But Will sure did. Still no harm, no foul. Good fucking night. Well, you sure don't mind at all that Will saw them. And everything else. Enjoy your night. I'm going to sleep. I told you not to get more alcohol and ask you if you had your clothes back on. You better knock off the fucking drinking because it's causing problems. I love you. Good night. It's not whatever, boo. I fucking love you. Stop the fucking drinking. You're a smart woman. You know that shit is a depressant. It's not letting you escape reality. It's bringing you down. You can't afford to let that happen. We have a future we're planning together. We want a good future together, not a fucked up future. Please stop the drinking for yourself and as. If you want to call me, I'll sing you a good night song. Do you want me to? Wow. So that alcohol means more to you than your health and ass. Good night. Yeah, well, that last statement reminded me of someone we're all trying to forget. So I love you more than anything. I wish you felt the same about me, but apparently... The alcohol comes before me. Good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Your health is not shit. You lost your voice now and you need to get your lung capacity back. You might be depressed about it, but drinking is not the escape from reality that you wanted because it is only causing more problems. You're a better woman than to let something like this beat you. What will you tell me? Stop the self-pity party and do something about it. That's what you would say to me, so now that I'm saying it to you, knock off the drinker to try harder to get better so that we can start our life together. Keep doing the exercises I taught you, even if you split up the time when you do them. Five minutes or ten minutes at a time, several different times per day is going to help. To say you're doing them and if you're not, is not going to help. To get to the finish line, honey, means you have to start first. And when you do those exercises I taught you, remember that you're trying to not move the stack of books on your chest. That's when you know that you're using your lungs and not your chest. Do them like I explained it, honey. It works for shingers, so it'll work for you too. 
you just can't give up because then you're allowing this thing to beat you. Will you start trying harder for ass now? You need to keep doing them. Kenny Rogers used to do them for two hours each day. The hospital doubled your dosage on pills. So you double your dosage on those exercises. Whatever it takes to reach the goal, honey. Giving up is not an option. Nope, I'm not. But I am a singer. And when I concentrate on doing them, even when I smoke, they help to expand my lungs so I can fit more air into them. And it's not an overnight thing. I'll stop if you stop the self-pity party and stop giving up. Even if you never got the 100%, it would never change the way I feel about you. If you're not having a self-pity party, then what do you call drinking five nights in a row? Because you sure the hell are not escaping reality by drinking, waking up with a hangover, and having to face the same problem when the headache is gone. You drank and caused more problems than what you started with. And that same problem didn't go away. It's still there for you to face. And until you face it, we won't be able to start our life together. Re, I love you too. Right. We'll see you naked last night. I love you. Good night. You're going to beat this thing, honey, and like I said, even if you don't get 100%, it will never change how special and great you are in my eyes. I love you. Go enjoy the hot tub with your friends. Good morning, my love. Yup, I've just been busy since I woke up. Why? Are you okay, my love? Why haven't you gone to bed? Damn, honey. This all night crap is getting ridiculous. And again, I texted you and I got up and again, you ignored me. My phone was having issues and I didn't know it because it was in my pocket. So what was it staying up all neat until 10 a.m.? You just didn't what? What did you do all night and morning? Did you do any more shows? Who was involved in it? I want to hear it from you. I asked you a question. You're pussyfooting around it. I think it was you and MJ. I want to know if there's anyone else besides you two. You still haven't answered my question. Then I'll talk when you do because I'm going to know what's going on. I want to know if there's anyone else involved in the show last night. Then I'm done talking until you start telling me. I'm not playing that fucking game of threesome or foursome fucking bullshit. So if you don't want to tell me, that leads me to believe that's what you're doing, and I won't stick around for bullshit. I didn't study at all what I told you would happen if you fuck either one of those guys out of threesome or foursome with them. So I guess it's time to find out how much you and I and our future means to you. And I told you what's going to happen if I find out you fucked them. And if it's on the internet, then you know that I will find out one way or another. I want you up here with me. We can find a place that deals with your medical issues. You've gone downhill since you were being around MJ. And I'm done with you hiding from me. So it's time to find out how much you want us. If you want me to stay going along with this shit with you and MJ, then the fucked up bullshit drinking and staying up all fucked up bullshit has to end now. And if I ever find out that you fucked either one of those guys, then we'll be done as soon as I find out. So you want to think real hard about the future and what's going to mean. You want us? You better start thinking about us again, because all I can see is you're thinking about drinking an MJ. You hate sending me pics, but it's not a big deal if Will sees you naked. Are you fucking kidding me? Who the hell is your fiancé? I've never heard anything from you, but you've not been the same to me. I'm the one spending $4,000 on an engagement ring, but it's okay that everyone else gets to see you naked. Give me a fucking break. You want to marry me, but you can't even say you love me. Get rid of the fucking bullshit and be serious with me or tell me goodbye. Because I'm not being treated like that anymore. Yeah, because you've been all over the place since you've been there. Then when you were drunk, you walked out of your room naked to get more alcohol. Not giving a fuck who saw you naked and not caring about how I felt about it. How would you like it if I behaved the way that you've been behaving? You would have wanted to take us backwards again. And you might want to keep in mind that both of us have notoriety. And thousands of people are watching both of us and also know that people are itching to write me letters to tell me things. So if you fucked either one of those guys last night... Then it would be better to tell me now instead of me finding out from someone else through a letter. Guess MJ wins again. I'm trying, but I still want the truth and I want it from you. Not a letter from someone I don't know. An hour or so, huh? I love you. Maybe we should try to be on the phone and try to relax with each other. We can talk about something other than tonight. I just took a couple of pics for you. Do you want them now or in the morning? Sure to which, now or morning? Okay. 
What one from when I was mad earlier, right before you called me, said fuck you, then hung up? What happened to what? I actually took and I was going to send it to you just to let you know how I needed to calm down, but before I sent it to you, you called. Peter looks like a sad cat, but read. Lol. When? At that time, no, but it was the best one. Why? Do you want all the ones I took tonight? Peter means my cock, honey. He's soft and sad in that pic. Yes, dear. No, I took a bunch to try to get the best ones for you. Lol. I just took this one. The traitor is lying on the floor on your side of the bed. That's all of them, honey. Lol. Did you like the one where it looks like I'm poking you in the eye? It was a close-up look. Lol. Good morning, my beautiful lady. I love you. I was gonna send you pics, honey, but I want to make sure that you have your phone and didn't leave it somewhere that someone else could grab it. Looks like Mommy and Roscoe are lazy today. Hi, honey. How's your head feel? Mine is fine. I didn't get drunk. I'm starting to slow down, though. I've been up since three. Did you just wake up? Because I'm trying to get as much done as I can before you get here. I'm always ready to start putting up more sheetrock in your closet. I'm going over things to make sure you and I don't get zapped if you decide to want to hang someone on the walls. I'm going to send you a pic. Tell me if you would like a hand-built dresser in this spot. It'll be built against the wall. Yeah, by electrical wires. There's only one spot I need to protect on that. I'll send a pic of that too. This is from the floor up. Sheetrock will be going over that plywood. The plywood is there for strength where the trailer and your closet come together. So you won't see the plywood. Would you like a hand-built dresser in that area? Okay, set in two more pics. Can you see that yellow wire on the wall? That's what I need to protect. This is the piece of steel I'm protecting it with. I know what I'm doing, my love, and I want you to have a nice house to live in. It just takes longer without Roy to help me because I've only two hands. But it turns out better in the end. He'll think I'll have four hands in bed, honey. <laughs> my hands will be all over you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing today? No shows? What are you doing right now? I hope you plan on making up for all this lack of sexual attention when you get here, because I'm literally doing it all alone now. And I don't want you using that dildo you guys made of Will's. To me, that's the same as Will. Okay, I had to reboot. Message wouldn't stand. Did you have a lot of viewers? Well, that sucks. Want me to kick some people as ashes to tell them to watch? Are you going to call me? Hmm. I'm beginning to think I'm not on the list today. Apparently something is more important than me. This makes the second time today you skipped out of me without telling me shit. I'm sorry that Dilla means more to you than I do. I tried calling you. I want to know if you still want to marry me because I'm not going to be put second to any dildo. It's a fucking dildo made from Will's dick. Do you love that thing more than me? I'm in bed but can't sleep because of your bullshit behavior tonight. Unfucking believable I'll send LaMondre back. You can play this game with someone else. It's obvious I don't mean shit to you anymore. You better stop playing this fucking bullshit game with me. You never acted like this to me before, and I'm not going to marry someone that puts a fucking dildo before me. Okay, only ten. You doing this crap tonight takes time out of getting your closet done. Tell Will I'm not mad at him. I love you, Jamie. I hate this day. I'll find out from Wendy in the morning and let you know. Good night, Mrs. Jamie Armstrong. I'm sorry, I'm sad tonight. <laughs> the truck didn't pass inspection. I have two things I need to do to it, so I'm going to do them now and try to take it back today to get the inspection sticker on it. I got one part welded, I'll weld the other part in the morning and then get it inspected. And yes, I know you're upset with me and I know why, so I won't mention it again. But someday I want you to talk to me about it. As for now, we have other things to talk about. We seriously have a lot to talk about. So if I can continue to talk and not ignore you after the blow you handed me, then you need to hike up your skirt and not ignore me when something happens that you don't like. If you want me to be able to support you better, then there are things that are going to have to change. Because there are a lot of things that are going to be piled on our plate, and we are going to have to rely on each other to be there for each other. Not Will or anyone else. Just ass. Whatever. Do what you want. Are you okay? Can you call? 
Hard time reading. My eyes. Eyes hurt. My left eye feels better. I'm still having a really hard time with my right eye. Are you feeling a little better? And what voicemail are you talking about? I'll flush my read eye out. And it's feeling better now. Still hurts a little bit. I think it'll be okay by the end of the day. Truck is inspected. I don't remember leaving you a voicemail. What time was it that I left it? It's quite possible I was asleep and dreaming about you. I woke up some mornings and found text that I typed to you that was just gibberish that I didn't send. What did the voicemail say? I don't dream of anyone else except family and close friends. I've never woke up and found that I typed any messages to anyone but you, Roy, Paul, and Will. I'm positive that you'll catch me talking in my sleep too. They bought us some tickets. You're being rather quiet, aren't you? Are you feeling okay? Okay, like I was trying to say when you kept interrupting me. That's not to say that they don't make them like that. Yeah. It's just that yeah. I've only seen minus and plus. So you can stop telling me to fuck off and stop trying to find me lying about what I have seen. Gonna let that pride take over so that we lose each other? God forbid you tell me that you want me. That could be such a painful thing to do. Are you awake? I'm sorry I got so upset. I feel like you're always trying to find something wrong with me. Can you call me? Okay, I just woke up so I'm not going to argue. It's up to you. I don't remember. Apparently not. Maybe I just wanted to spend time with you. Did I say anything like that? Or are you just assuming? All you ever do is try to find something wrong with me, so what's your point? And you're still not here. You're the one proving the point by not being here. I love you too. And yes, I said too. La la la, lol. The guy just showed up to prepare for the install of the business line and internet. Um, okay. Start getting yourself ready to get up here and have a real life. It's not going to take long to get the jobs and money to start coming in once I get it all going. You better be pulling the stick out of your ass then because at the pace you're going I will already be dead and in the ground by the time you get here. <laughs> you didn't like me telling to you straight, huh? Jamie, stop trying to put me down and find faults with me all the time. All I'm telling you is you need to hurry up and get up here so we can start having our life together. It's past time for things to change to something good for us. You're just getting further into debt being down there with COVID. Still happening, and it's still going to be about a year before life gets back to any type of normality. I don't know yet. They will explain it all to me when it's installed. I don't think they will be installed until tomorrow. And you just say that stuff because you like to try and irritate me. You don't know or realize that I'm doing what I can to find a job and have been. That's why probation has encouraged me to stop my own business. Because the economy is so bad right now and has been since the pandemic started. I love it, honey. I love it. Lol. I'm going to be working as much as I can down at the teardown house for a while. There's a lot to do and only three and a half more months to get it done. My appointment with my lawyer changed. It's at 1.30 now. She's not the female I want next to me in bed. You are. It's okay. Are you alright? I'm here if you want me, honey. Okay. I'm working in medicine today. I'm home. Good luck making money tonight. Good morning, my precious beautiful lady. Hi, honey. How you feeling? Haven't had it yet. Remember I got changed to 1.30? I'm at a tractor supply right now getting chicken feed and a different pair of wedding glasses so I don't go blind. Then go home and wait for the phone conference. I don't know why I would have said that. It was pushed from 10.30 to 1.30 so I had to change my whole day around because of it. The phone and internet company hasn't shown up yet either. I'm home now. I thought it was almost 1.30 right now, but I forgot that the clock in the truck is off by 35 minutes. What are you going to do today? I'll check to you as soon as my meeting is over, okay? Done with the meeting. Can you call me? Okay. I'm stressed read out. I'm soaking in the tub. What are you doing? Honey, answer the phone, please. Damn it, honey. It's important. Will is going to give you his phone to talk to me. It is extremely important, honey. Good morning, precious. I've slept on it and processed it, and I'm still 100% in. If you want to fall back in love with me again, I'm right here waiting. By the way, I think we broke up without thinking, if it was really what we wanted to do. 
It's been 20 hours and I've never been more positive or share my life with anyone like I am with you. Voicemail. I love you forever. Uh, apparently we're not going to talk tonight. You haven't said anything to me all day, though I guess there's nothing I can do. I don't like being without you. All I can think about is that with all the hell and bullshit that we've been through, we've stayed together because we knew that a time would come that we would get better. We stayed together because we believed in each other. Now that I know that we can make it, we're hanging in the air. We were wrong to agree with each other that it should be over. I think we agreed just because we won't want to be stubborn and wanted things our own way instead of relaxing and confronting one of our biggest fears. That being my probation. We jumped for what we thought would be the easiest for ourselves as a single instead of what would be the best for us as a couple. We were very wrong to agree to give up when neither of us really wanted to and with the future we planned with each other, we have every reason to stay together. I hope you see that. Voicemail pressures. I love you, and I am still 100% positive. Something that I'm not quite understanding. We both told each other to let the other know if we changed our minds. I changed my mind, but now you want to think about it. What is it to think about if you already know it's me that you want to be with? Me being a jealous man? There's always been some flaws, and there's no getting around that. And over time, I will handle it better. But that's not something that should take much thought if you know it's me you want. You mentioned that you don't like the cold. I don't either. But just like me knowing you were in the poem business when we started, you knew that Maine was cold in the winter. So what is there to think about? Because what probation thinks is no longer a problem. Is it the thought of us becoming real with each other? Because we knew that day had to come at some point. The timing of all that has happened is terrible, but it is something that only you can make real. And being scared won't get us back together. I just remember that you told me that Maggie Jo broke your computer when she was mad. So that means now that I'm getting my computer back tomorrow, and internet hooked up tomorrow, I still won't be able to see you on webcam. That's upsetting. Sorry, my phone died. Give me 10 minutes to charge it a little and I will call you back, okay? Okay, I love you and let's start pointing out the good things about each other. Like your sexy ears. Good morning, precious. I just took my shower and I'm ready for a busy day, my love. I have to go to Bangor to the probation office to get my computer and talk to Stacy. Then get back home as fast as I can because they will be here between 8am and 5pm to hook up the phone and internet. So I'm going to be working in the house until they are done. Tomorrow I have class so I'm working in the house tomorrow also. Wednesday I'm going to work in Madison. Thursday, Friday and Saturday I'm working at the teardown house. Know someone that can cut out trees so as soon as I can I will be talking to him and will give us a jump on building our new house. And we will make a little money for stumpage so that will help. I'm back from Bangor but I still don't have my computer yet. I'll explain it to you on the phone. I'll take your fucking posters down now and sell all your shit I got you too. You played it well so you don't have to talk to Stacy and you never have to be real with me. So I'll never know the truth. How fucking great for you. Congratulations. I don't believe you anymore. You don't want me? Someone else will get me that is not afraid to be real with me. Your logic. You want everything your way and don't want to be real with me. You would rather destroy us than be real with me. And my lawyer just called me. Thanks for proving that you never wanted to be here and be real with me. Apparently I'll be saving that ring for someone else because you want to run when the pressure to be real is on. Run, run, run. You were going back to the past and trying to hurt me with saying good luck to me instead of believing in me and ass. I wanted to give us the same real chance that I want to. Why would I hang around for that shit? You said you want to be just friends. Not doing that after the future we had planned together. I want us to be real. If you were to talk to Stacy and give her the info, then I would be more patient and wait for your therapy to be done because that would tell me you do want to be real with me and give us a fair chance. Give us a real chance? I guarantee you that we will be happier than we ever thought we could. I was going to call you from the business phone, but I can't do that because the assholes didn't show up. I called the company and they're figuring it out. They know that I'm pissed about it. Well, I don't have the phone and the internet hooked up yet, but I know the number to the business phone. If you listen to your voicemail, you'll get the answer to your song. And I got distracted. Whatever. We can never be just friends. You need to sleep on it. 
I believe in us and want it to be real. You're being scared to be real could kill us. Or maybe I'm missing something and maybe you want to be friends because you have an interest in someone else. It sucks that now I have to take that into consideration. By the way, I already told Stacy about you having to use a robot voice for now. So there should be no fear for that being a reason to not talk to her. Good morning, precious. Hi. Got my computer. What's the attitude for? Oh, sorry. I took it the wrong way. It was hard to tell through text. Left. It's a slot game I have on my computer. It's going to be a few days before my internet and phone get hooked up. I might take it to my arms and hook it up there. And my problem is that I don't have you here with me. I'll take a pic of them and send it in a bit. I do plan on marrying you, so you'll need them anyway. I'm going to go to mom's and get the monitor installed on it. What are you going to be doing today? Oh yeah, I'm sorry for being a hypocrite. I will explain on the phone. You're beautiful. It's taken forever to install this monitor shit. I'm still at mom's downloading the monitor. Something messed up the first time, so they had to do it over again. It's at 77% right now. Excuse me? I was just going to tell you I'm going home and coming back in the morning. And who's dick? I've had all I can handle. It's deja vu for me. The boundary I set is being crossed and it makes me sick. Do what you have to do and then show up at my door when you want to be real because your stunts lately have not been being real with me. Good morning, my beautiful, precious wife. I love you. Yes, I know that you fell asleep last night, honey. At least I think you did. Is my precious angel awake yet? Mm, I'm taking lunch break. Mm, I miss my wife. Apparently you didn't fall asleep last night when I thought you did. Uh, he still haven't texted me back yet, so I guess I'll get back to doing things. You didn't what? You didn't fall asleep last night when I thought you did? What did you do? I texted you a couple times after I told you I was going to sleep and you never responded. Did you play Donkey Kong? You're obviously not wanting to answer my questions. Did you spend time with him when I went to sleep? Apparently you're spending time with him now because you're ignoring me. Whatever, Jamie. I'm not playing the fucking game. I am. And don't bring an unwanted other into a fucking relationship. Get rid of that piece of shit, Jamie. Because every day it gets worse when you don't. I'm done with everything on my to-do list for today. I would like to spend time with my fiancé if she would like to spend time with me. And it's not whatever, Jamie. You are blown off the way I feel and leaving me for hanging when that puke shows up. Things have been taking place with him that never should have taken place. Is that internet piece of shit worth causing damage to us? You and I are engaged. When a piece of trash like that tries getting in between us, you're not supposed to say, Okay, come on in even though my fiancé doesn't want you around. The reason I haven't been upset about Carter is because he has been respectful to our relationship. This internet clown is not. I don't appreciate you blowing me off and treating our relationship like a joke so you can spend time with that piece of shit. It's obvious you're not wanting to spend time with me right now, so I can only assume you're texting with him. Enjoy your fucking day. And it took you this long to respond to me because you're spending time with him. Like when I got no response from you last night when you showed up. I'm figuring out where you're putting me in the line of importance with this guy. It's fucked up. I addressed that same point yesterday. You're not telling me everything that's going on with this guy because you know it pissed me off. You're treating our relationship like a fucking joke so you can spend time with that piece of shit and saying... Fuck the way you feel, Lauren. You better get rid of that motherfucker, Jamie, because you're putting us at risk. I'm not playing your stupid fucking game. Keep up the bullshit with that piece of shit and we can break up so you can have him. Which is sounding more and more like that's what you want to happen. You were doing pathetic behavior with that piece of shit. How many times have you viewed his cam and him yours and when was the last time? What's the answer? That's a bad fucking answer. It's the answer that tells me you're keeping things from me that is happening with another guy. It's a bad fucking answer. What made him feel free to mention 69 and 666? You really want to play that game of me not being entitled to know what you're doing with another guy on cam, Jamie? You're painting a very bad picture by saying that. If I find out that you've camped with him more, Jamie, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be in a relationship where that kind of bullshit happens behind my back or at all. And giving him your number and you having his was not a good move either. When you told me you viewed his cam and he viewed your cleavage, it hurt me a lot. I'm not going to let that happen anymore. So if you'll be doing it, then it's a good idea to never do it again. I won't stick around if I find out that it is. 
and you've hurt me by dropping me when that guy shows up, and you've hurt me by not caring how I feel about getting rid of that guy. Things are not going well at all. 69 is sexual, and 666 is the number for the devil. You must be so fucking proud that you're fine with your fiancé, because you won't tell that piece of shit from the internet to get going. And I'm not proud that my fiancé ignores me when some piece of shit from the internet shows up, or that she's keeping secrets about camming with him. I made a promise that I would never leave you, and I'm going to keep my promise. But when you make me feel second to some guy on the internet, it's not me leaving you, it's you leaving me. Paying attention to what you're doing because this guy will be good. There is nothing good about internet chat rooms, only problems. Because you have a fiancé. I'm supposed to come first to you and you to me. I don't feel like I'm first to you when it comes to that guy. And I don't feel like you care how I feel about him. You have a fiancé. No cam should have been turned on at all. And I'm not saying we're over. But I am saying that I'm tired of feeling second to some guy on the internet. I'm not going to be put second to anyone on the internet. You and I are going to be married. Beside ourselves, we come first to each other. And I even put you first before myself, because that's the way I want it. Because everyone else in our lives has to come second. Mega Joe, Will, Mom, and Aunt Sharon. That's the way it is, because you and I will be our family. There is never room for some guy on the internet. That's how families become broken families. My feelings wrapped around wanting to give you everything I can so you never have anything to worry about even after I'm dead and gone. The only reason it feels to you like I put me first is because I get pissed when I feel threatened that someone is going to try to get between us. That internet guy has no right to have your number or a position where I get ignored for you to spend time with him. That shit is fucked up. I love you. I'm not dead yet, so I'm capable of getting a job, honey. I've had two places call me back to help to find truck and jobs this week. The problem is that it has to be something in Maine, which really isn't a problem because I want something in state only. Bah. They are trying to help me find something. Which actually, I have to tell you something that I found out from at HR Block. So I'm going to call you and tell you it on voicemail because it's too long to text. Okay, honey. Voicemail. Why? No, so honey, the reason we don't argue when you don't want me to respond to letters or talk to someone is because I don't care how they feel. But I do care about how you feel. Are you in the hot tub? Oh, I wish I could be in it with you. Are you taking your phone with you? Because I was hoping you would take me with you. See if you can guess what I'm eating for supper, honey. How much do I really have to do that, honey, really? I want time for us to enjoy each other without having to wonder about some worthless fuck from the internet. I'll be happy when we can be on the phone again. Hey! Thought you might have been talking about the voicemail left you. I must be on the phone with you, that's why. And again, have you noticed how there is no arguing from me when you don't want me talking to someone else? It's never a fight when you're putting up with this guy, honey. Ever. Hmm. Apparently you didn't take me with you. That must have upset your dog, too. He's growling in his sleep. You know it isn't. When I've argued, it lasted maybe a day at the most. Name one time. Hmm. I thought you were talking about the amount we have argued when you didn't want me to talk to someone. Lol. Still, none of those you listed was a guy from the internet that you didn't know and you gave your number to and got his number involved cams and ignored your fiancé to spend time with. All of those you mentioned were completely different than a guy from the internet. What a fucking coincidence, huh? Scroll up and read. I don't want to interrupt your fucking date tonight. Hope it goes fucking great. Yes, it did. Well, isn't this fucking great? You pull this fucking bullshit with me now and you have a fucking date with a fucking internet piece of shit for level 69. Go fucking figure. Twice now. Is that time for me, or are you still on your fucking date? Don't think I'm joking about that internet piece of shit because you just did it again tonight. You found a reason to throw a cow with it because it was getting close to spending time with that piece of shit. I was in the fucking way. I'm not stopping until you get rid of that fucking piece of shit. You put me second to that motherfucker again. You grow up. You have a fucking fiancé. 
Don't give your fucking number to some dirtbag on the internet and all the other crap you've done with that piece of shit. Yeah. God forbid you miss your date with that piece of shit. You must not have had enough of him. I don't know. Did you make plans for one like you did the first one? Guess that tells me the cams are being used and you're wearing something special just for him. No wonder you don't want me around when you spend time with him. You do because you ignore me every time you spend time with him. I'm not laughing about any of this horse shit. I want him gone. I don't matter to you anymore. Only he does. You don't care that you bring that piece of internet shit into our relationship has made me miserable and caused us problems. All you care about is having your own way and keeping that piece of shit around. Yeah. How about the cams? Any plans to call him on the phone? Getting too comfortable with another man when you have a fiancé is not a good on a relationship, Jamie. Are you viewing each other still? Oh, that's a huge fucking mistake. I don't play that shit. Enjoy him. I hope he's worth it. Not if you don't get rid of him. My fiancé isn't going to do any cam bullshit with other guys on the internet. I don't play that way. Here's the deal. You're choosing an internet piece of shit over your fiancé and camming with him. That bullshit doesn't fly good in a relationship, Jamie. You can't have your way with everything. Get rid of him. You put him in our relationship, you take him out. You viewing another guy's camera, let him view yours. That is a seriously fucked up thing to do if you love me. You won't send me pics, but you let this stranger see you on cam. Are you out of your fucking mind? That's not doing right by me, an ass. Do you realize how much in the last week that your life has revolved around the internet? Chat rooms fuck up lives. I told you, but you would rather you and me get fucked up versus staying out of chat rooms. And if you're really still camming with this guy when you know how I feel about it, then you are doing something wrong, because you're not caring about how it makes me feel. Go into chat rooms all you want. Just don't wonder why you're getting fucked up when you turn your cam on for other people and turn other cams on. Exchange phone numbers with people and ignore me. Spend time with other people from the internet. And when you can't walk past that computer without wanting to be on it and in a chat room, that's when your life is no longer reality. All I can do is shake my head at your comment. And yes I am, because that's the point I reached. That's why I hate chat rooms. They take a person away from real world and can destroy a really good thing and can hurt people around you. And I don't know where Cucky came from, but I prefer Bear coming from you. That's always been your special name for me and I like it. And that's why you had me get the hat with the B on it. And why the business name BB Septic and Construction was thought up by you. Sad face. I'm going to sleep. It seems all you want to do tonight is hurt me. I really do pray that you're not coming with that guy. That would be extremely disappointing. You wanted me to leave you a voicemail so I'm going to do it now honey. It's a song I wrote a long time ago. Not many people have heard it. I miss my wife. Honey, I... They changed me over to a different counselor again for class. I won't be going to Dwayne anymore. It's the same provider that I was with before, so maybe it'll be a good thing. The provider I had before got the contract back, so I won't be starting over. All my records are being transferred over. I'm moving my stuff in our bedroom to put the sheetrock up, but I have a question for you. Is that window big enough, or do you want a bigger window? Did you fall back asleep, honey? I love you, precious. Honey, I'm doing some thinking. I want to go over with you. I think you might like my idea, but I still need to make sure. Is my wife still asleep? Hi, honey. What are you doing? Did you just wake up again? You never said anything, so I thought you were sleeping. What have you been doing? Normally you respond so I can tell you when I know you're there. What do you think about putting an addition on our bedroom that will match the same addition to the kitchen? Okay. Then we might be able to fit your king bed in. Have you been on the internet in that chat room today? Yes, because I want to know if I'm being ignored for peckheads on the internet. And I still want to know how many times you talked to that guy that you talked to for four hours. And I want to know all about it. I told you I hate chat rooms. They disgust me and they cause nothing but problems. That guy turning his cam on for you and flexing his mustache for you has pissed me off. I also don't want Will taking your poster down anymore. I don't want you to have it on the wall either. But him taking it down like he's your father has pissed me off too. But you need to respect him too and not call him into your room if we're going to have it on the wall. That room is your private space. That you should be able to have whatever makes you feel good in it. And if nobody likes it, they don't have to go in it. 
Maggie Joe included, regardless if it's her house or not. And that's all I'm saying about it all. You can be mad at me if you want, but at least you know how I feel. I just called from H&O Block, honey, to see if I can use a P.O. bow for the business instead of a physical address. She didn't know the answer for certain, so she's going to find out the answer and let me know. I'm curious as a rooster, not a hen. Apparently you're not too anxious to talk to me tonight. It must be because we spent so much time together today. I guess it's obvious that time with me isn't that important. Do you like it, honey? Hmm, I just called you. Morning. I don't have much to smile about right now. Because of your new boy that you want to spend time with. It seems as though he comes before anything. He was all that and more when you talked about him. You was anxious to get off the phone with your fiancé to spend time with him. He has your email, and from the way you made it to me understand, your phone number, and you have his. I'm not having that kind of bullshit in our relationship. You wanted to get off the phone to play Donkey Kong with him. Or do you not remember him wanting to get to level 69, or be 666 with you? No, I only hung up a few times. The rest was the signal. I told you how I felt about chat room. You still wanted to spend an hour a day in it. Now you've been spending all kinds of time with another guy. Seen him on cam. He's seen you on cam. You have his phone number. He has your phone number. I don't know if you talk with him on the phone or not, and it's got me all pissed off and upset and it's affecting our relationship. I told you internet chat rooms cause problems. Is this guy worth it? You neglect the important people in your life to spend time with this guy from the internet that is hidden on you. It's a huge problem, and he needs to go. You have ignored me for four hours once that I knew of to spend time with him. I don't know if there's be more or not. You're fine with your fiancé to keep this guy in your life because you met him on the internet for some fucked up reason. What you're doing for fun on the internet is not fun for our relationship. Which one is more important to you? You put him in a relationship, get rid of him. I'm not in the sarcastic mood right now. I don't joke around when it comes to you and me. Trying to start a personal checking account. Honey, what's my email address? I can't get it yet. They're saying I have to get a note on letterhead saying I paid the bill. They'll call me when they get it and I can open a checking account. A bill I had with my old bank a few years ago. It's paid already. I just need a note from the bank stating it was paid. Because I don't have one now. It'll be easier to make my credit card payments plus your ring payment with it over the phone. I had a bill. I don't anymore. I don't even have that same bank, Neo. Honey, do you want to pick out a couple plants for your garden window? Cheap plants. Never mind. I'm home now. Um, no. Unless you have a medical permit for it. Not for your lungs, honey. Lol. I'll just take you to Paul's place and watch you and him get high. I just now took this pick, honey. That's not pot, honey. Lol. I've called you three times now. Apparently there's no change. I'm at the credit union right now, honey. Seeing about starting a checking account. So he took his phone with him. Send that guy a text and get rid of him and forward it to me. I know. I thought about that after. I want that guy gone now, Jamie. No, not Will. James. I told you before. Get rid of him. Now. And I want to see the text. Why is me leaving voicemails easier? I left you too. Have you listened to them yet? Holy fuck. Are you playing Donkey Kong with James Reed now? You forget about me when you spend time with him. You haven't even listened to the voicemails I left you. James is more important. It's obvious. Obviously you are because you've forgotten all about fiancé again. Enjoy your night with that piece of shit from the internet that you've already given hours to today and that you want to kill us. I'm beginning to see where I rate. Good night. You better get rid of that piece of shit right now then. You put him in our relationship and we have had our problems ever since. I try to tell you how it makes me feel and you blow it off. Get rid of him, Jamie. You want me to stop throwing a fit and get rid of him. Because you have a fiancé that is in love with you. You should have never had ignored me for four hours to spend time with him. You never should have viewed his cam. He never should have seen you. 69 never should have been made safe for him to say. 666 is the same. And you continuously forget about me spending hours a day on the internet with him and phone numbers most definitely should not have been exchanged. All that leads to nothing but a road to destruction for us. Is he worth it? You told me to shut up. I'm looking at four beautiful posters. 
I'm laying here naked in bed and wishing you was here with me. I'm not thinking about Donkey Kong. Good night. I try not to think about that piece of shit. I love you, not him. And I have every right to feel hurt and upset. Yeah, because I can't believe that you are fighting me about getting rid of him. Keeping him doesn't help us at all. We were talking about it. Roy moved back to... House again. Uncle Clayton's son is buying the house that Roy is working on and is using his trailer as a down payment. When my cousin moves into the house, Roy is going to move into the trailer and fix that up. If you don't want me having anything to do with a woman, we don't argue about it. Because I get rid of them. My first priority is you, not some stupid fuck from the internet. Roy had the chance to move in with... Again. I don't blame him for that and at least now the shed is cleared out so we can put whatever stuff you want to take out of here and put in there we can. And yes, I'm still pissed about that piece of shit. That won't go away. The only one that can make that go away is you. If Roy doesn't help me with the tear down house, I'm not giving him any lumber, honey. We're not going to help him anymore either. I really hope he starts trying because I want us to be able to help him. Not stupid. It's just, how do you help someone that won't help themselves? If he tries, then I would like for us to give him the lumber. If he doesn't try, how much farther do we go in helping him? We can only go so far until we have to say, Enough. It's time to help yourself, Roy. What happened with Will's family emergency? Is it Hannah? That's because you're spending so much time with him that you don't have to think about him. You're going to be my wife. If he doesn't help with the teardown house, he doesn't get the lumber, and it goes towards our house barn. Unless we decide to let him have some. So yes, you do have a say in it. Um, alrighty then. I'm going to sleep now, I guess. I love you. Good night. I was only going to pray for all to be okay with him. I don't go to church, but I do know how to pray, and I do like Will. But still, honey, I have lots to do before the ground freezes and before you get here. And tomorrow's going to be nice out, so I want to pour the part of the concrete out so I can start building our stone wall behind the wood stove. So I'm not going to get some sleep now, okay? Love you, precious. Good night. And you're right. I don't need to know his business. I can pray for him without knowing it. Not going to say goodnight to me, huh? You must be playing Donkey Kong right now. Good morning, precious. Now I feel like I've been handed a year worth of lies and games, bro. Like I said, feels like lies in a game to me. You haven't texted me all day because you've been with your love that is engaged to someone else. So what does it matter? Pathetic. I guess it's time for the posters to come down because there are things that have been hidden from me so I don't believe you anymore. Well, that sounded just like Winnie and Emma. Liar. That's funny that I'm abusive when I call you out in your fucked up bullshit. Here's a thought for you. MJ and John Michael have been together since they were 19. How long do you really think they're going to stay broken up? Now think about how much you fucked us up because you wanted to be down there with her. And it might be to your benefit to ask MJ if it was love that you made last night. Because it would benefit you to know that it wasn't. She played you, and you were gullible enough to let her. And look at what you allowed to happen to us because you were too afraid to be real with me. It's so sad. Good morning, my precious, beautiful, spoiled wife. I love you. I don't know why either one of us ever mentioned breaking up when we already know it's never going to happen. Voicemail, honey. Ouch, the second voicemail hurt. Woohoo, honey! We're gonna have a fire today and sex tonight, if Will is back. I thought I would have heard from you by now. Apparently, fiancé doesn't get the first text of the day anymore. I just rebooted my phone to make sure my server wasn't messed up and not delivering your texts. The server is fine. Just no text from you. Wow. Apparently, you found someone else you'd rather share your life and time with. How much time did you spend with James today? You brought this shit on us because you wanted to cam and call a guy from the internet and annoy your fiancé to spend time with him. I'm not going to be treated like that. Good night. My birthday is in two days. You can give me a birthday present of getting your priorities straight again and getting off the internet. That's my birthday wish. I'm watching TV. I just don't appreciate being ignored by my fiancé all day so that she can spend time camming and texting. Some piece of shit from the internet. I told you I'm not living like that. I don't like you cam with anyone from the internet so you can admire his muscles and he can see your cleavage and you exchange phone numbers as fucked up when you have an insignificant other. I feel like a broken fucking record. I wouldn't do that shit to you if the terms would turn and don't appreciate you doing it to me. You're also a celebrity and just gave your number to a guy you know nothing about. Your boredom is making you fill your valuable time with a waste from the internet and causing us problems. There are a lot more important things you could be filling your time with. 
I made my birthday wish. Please deliver for the sake of us and your valuable life and status. Did you get my message or do I need to resend it? And I am. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to accept the bullshit that you've been handing me with a piece of shit from the internet. Who do you love? Me or him? And that's a question I never expected that I would have to ask you. Because of your intelligence level being so impressive to me. Fuck off, idiot, is what you should be saying to that piece of shit from the internet, not your fiancé. I aim to please. Unfortunately, it must be not working for you because you're watching some other guy on cam that's not me. How would you feel about me viewing another woman's cam? And if you tell me to go for it, I know you're full of shit. Because you got a set about a second female daughter looking at my nuts that you told me to have checked out. That's something that you need to do also then. What's the point of you seeing that piece of shit on cam when you have a fiancé? I don't see any response to my response yet. Are you getting my messages? I guess not. I'm going to bed. I have a headache from missing my wife all day. I'll get up again in two hours, honey. My headache is killing me. The smoke from the fire had something to do with it too, but I hate going all day without you and that hurts. I'll get up in two hours. I love you. Hi, honey. What are you doing? Honey, are you there? Um, what's up with that? I wasn't going to grill, but okay. What are you doing? And you know why too, but I just want to spend time with you. I told you I would get up in two hours. Have you heard from Will? Are you on that stupid fucking internet still? Why? Because I want you to myself without that piece of shit around. But he's around so my one of your time is taking up your time with him. What a fucking crock of shit. Isn't that amazing how you're spending so much time with that piece of shit? Is making me feel so loved by you. He has your days and now your nights too. Time that used to be ours now belongs to that piece of shit from the internet. And God forbid that I interrupt the act. I was too pissed off to say anything at the time. And I didn't think you would be able to take your attention away from him long enough to read anything I said anyway. It's true. You may not like me saying it and you may not see it, but I do see it. And I can't believe that you don't after all these times. I've pointed it all out. You're not the only one in this relationship. And in the last week, our relationship has revolved around you and that piece of shit from the internet. You have been all your mind and your time to him. The internet chat rooms are worthless and they're the cause of problems. Jamie, when you have a fiancé, what is the purpose for constantly viewing another guy's cam? Exchanging phone numbers with him and ignoring your fiancé to spend time with him until it results in him having all your time and your fiancé having none. You may have innocent intentions, but... You're neglecting the one you love for a guy from the internet that obviously don't care about your personal life and that has no life because he's always on the internet. I love you and I know you're bored and you found something you think is fun and I'm sorry you're so bored right now but I miss you and us and innocent or not some of the moves you're making and you're not taking us into consideration when you make them and now a week later it seems like everything is revolving around him. Apparently you're busy, so I'm going back to sleep. I love you. Good night. Her her der. What's the purpose of continuously viewing his fucking webcam, Jamie? And giving all of our time. You never seem to answer those fucking questions. Her her der. I don't ignore the fucking point. You want me to trust you and I do. But when you do fucked up shit like constantly viewing his cam, exchange of phone numbers, and ignoring your fiancé to spend time with the fucking guy from the internet that you know nothing about, then it brings that trust into a question. You don't want it to be brought into question? Don't do fucked up shit. And I love you. Good fucking night, Mrs. Cucky. We're not fucking done. Whenever I ask, you never tell, or you skirt around my fucking questions 95% of the fucking time. We're not losing each other because of the fucking internet. I fucking told you that a fucking internet was nothing but fucking problems. And now fucking look at us. Is that fucking piece of shit really worth losing each other? Not to me. How about yo? We're not losing each other because of the fucking internet. You hate it when I point out shit and I'm right about shit. Suck it up, Jamie. You're not right about everything. Why don't you tell that piece of shit to stick his came up his ace? You and I have plans for a life together. Are you going to get a, you know, that piece of shit get in the way of that? Do we mean the little to you now? It's fucking bullshit and we're not done. And I fucking love you. And I don't give a flying rat's ass about anyone else. My priority is you and ass. Nobody else.
Please don't ever turn away from us, Jamie. I made a promise to never leave you and I want the same promise from you. Will you give it to me? I thought you already did when you said yes to marrying me. We didn't come this far to lose pressures. And I'm not buying the ring to sit alone and look at. It's going on your finger where it belongs. And we need to get through our disagreements without trying to break up constantly. I love you. I wish you would keep talking. You don't get to decide when we break up. Don't you remember when I tried to leave because of your terrible behavior? Remember saying that to me, honey? Same goes for you too. I love you. And we wouldn't be happy without each other. And I left you a voicemail. You didn't want Winnie in my life. I took her out. You didn't want Emma in my life. I took her out. You didn't want me responding to letters. So I stopped. You wanted me to burn my two boxes of my court papers. And I did. We've been building a house together. Got the chicks together. You've been with me a family event and the yard sale. And made many decisions together. We have our future playing together. We do things to make the other happy. That's love. And what we have is real. No internet piece of shit is worth getting in the way of what we already shared. And the happiness that our future together holds for us. I love you. Letting go now is not worth losing the moment when we first lay in our bed together. And letting each other know that we made it. Even though we had some hard times. And we still won. Good morning, precious. I love you. Please talk to me. Let's get through this. Don't let go of us and let's make the promise to each other to never threaten to break up again. It's not just me that has to change, honey. It's us that has to change for each other. What we have is not worth letting go of. We love each other too much to let each other just disappear. And any advice from anyone else about our relationship doesn't mean anything. Because you and I are the only two that knows all about us. I love you. Just got back from mom's. She got me two pairs of pants for my birthday. I hope you don't really want to give me two broken hearts. I just went out and fed the chicks, honey. I took a good look and they realized that you named them just perfectly. Because Kurish and Booger are both roosters. I don't want you and me to be that last song I sang to you, honey. Let's fix this today and find a compromise. So that we can be happy with each other again. I was going to go to the teardown house today and shovel up all the blown insulation on the second floor. But I'm not doing that now because you and I come before anything. Just check the mail. This is what I need to start checking account, honey. I'm surprised that I haven't got any birthday cards from any internet assholes. Yet. I'm in so much disbelief. That you and I are going through this because of some piece of shit from the internet. That never should have been in our life to begin with. Part of me thinks that maybe you don't love me as much as I thought. And don't want us as much as I thought. And that's why you went on the internet looking for someone else. And the other part of me thinks that you are just bored. And made a new friend that I'm offended by because he came from the internet. And all you want to be able to do is socialize. And have someone to play Donkey Kong with. I really can't believe we're going through this. I'm praying to God this isn't going to be the worst birthday I've ever had. One bad birthday because of the internet was more than enough. Nothing could be worse than losing you. I love you, Jamie. It's times like now that I want to just get completely drunk and have a big fire to take frustrations out. But that's not the answer for me anymore because it would only hurt us more. There's no way for us to get better until you start talking. You've been spending so much time with that guy on the internet, maybe you don't want us to get better. I don't know how you feel anymore because we haven't had our time together like we used to. It really sucks that I'm here wanting to straighten things out with my fiance and spend time with her. And all I can picture is that she's spending time with a piece of shit from the internet. Plus I'm wondering why it couldn't have been a fat unattractive guy that she's given her attention to. Or a gay guy. Instead of a guy she found. I guess I'm done telling you my thoughts. I'm trying to save us. 
I can't do it without you. Well, this sucks. I've wasted my day away wanting to save us, and apparently you don't want to save us because I haven't heard a word from you. Those internet chat rooms are such a great fucking thing. That's where Emma and Winnie waste their life away too. Fucking bullshit, Jamie. That must be one hell of a fucking guy to want to end us for. I just let Will know that you want to end us, and I told him why I have been pissed, because I know you will only tell him what you want him to hear. I've been talking to Will, and I don't think you've cheated on me, but the crap you've been doing this week because the internet piece of shit has not been read. But I love you, and we need to talk. If you love me, you're going to want to straighten this out so that we can be happy again. I love you, Jamie. Will you talk to me, please? Apparently you don't want to talk to me, and all of our time has now been given to that internet piece of shit. Nice birthday gift. Thanks. What does our love mean to you, Jamie? For spending time with that internet piece of shit and zero with me is not helping us. It's not love when you trade your fiancé for Donkey Kong, Jamie. Do you love me and want to straighten us out or not? It appears that internet piece of shit means more to you than I do. And you won't get rid of him, but you'll get rid of your fiancé to keep him. Apparently you don't want us anymore. And there's nothing I can do when you don't talk. I really thought we meant more to each other than to allow something so pathetic like this to happen. Good night. I love you too. I see it. 41 to 24. And we're not broken up. We're going to get straightened out. We have too much to lose. I love you too. Good night. How many have you had to drink? Drink one more for me. Then ask Maggie Joe to drink three for me. And anyone else there is too finished getting me drunk. I've had a day of upsetting hell without you. And I need to be passed out drunk. Either your spelling sucks right now. Or you all, y'all, have gotten me drunk fast. All I have is Gatorade, coffee, water, OJ and milk. Can't get drunk with those. Um, no. Come here and give me some. We will when you get here, my love. I'm going to sleep. I love you. Good night. Did you notice what time it is here? I just did. It's 1210 here and October 18th. <laughs> it doesn't look like you have much coordination for hitting the correct letters right now, honey. What are you doing? Blow me. Yeah, but you're engaged to me. And if you did anything with her, it would be cheating, so I'm not worried. And being drunk is no excuse. Remember whose ring you'll be wearing. Happy to see you want me to have a good birthday. Good night. Not even going to tell me night. Good morning, my beautiful, precious wife. I love you, and I hope you've had a headache for not talking to me all day yesterday. Apparently you don't want to spend time with me on my birthday. Whatever. Nothing I can do about it if you want that internet piece of shit over me. Thank you. Are you going to spend time with me or that internet piece of shit? I'm pouring concrete slabs for the parts on our carport. Have you already spent time with that internet piece of shit today? You already know my birthday wish. It hasn't changed. I miss my wife. Me and Paul went to Home Depot this morning and I locked my keys in my truck. The windows were down little doors so we was able to lock the door with a long rod. I took the station down a couple of days ago to pour concrete under the trailer to start working on the stone wall inside. I wanted to spend the day with you. I'm just afraid of letting that in and that piece of shit getting in the way. I'm sorry that he's more important than I am to you now. I say it because that's the way you've been making me feel for the last week. I miss my wife. Do you still want to be? It's hard to tell because of all the attention you've been giving him. I miss my fiancé. And we're going to have two weddings. The first one a cheap one. And the second, your $250,000 wedding. I'm working for that lady in Madison tomorrow and Tuesday. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out together. My idea was to maybe have a wedding here at our house. Maybe fix it up out back to look nice. And have it on the back lawn. How do you feel about that? Okay. What's your idea? Yes. But I don't want to wait as long as it's going to take for an expensive wedding to marry you. That's why I thought maybe a cheap wedding then an expensive wedding. 
I'm guessing that you don't like the idea and you want the expensive wedding. Maybe it won't take as long as I thought to get the money for the expensive wedding. I made a lot of money with my other septic business. And we already own our property so we won't ever make any payments. I know, it was just an idea, but I really think it won't take that long to come up with the money. I'm going to start the business soon, I think. But I'm also going to have to find a full-time job. I have to call about one tomorrow. Sorry I took so long to respond, honey. Mom called me. When is Will going to be back? Honey, are you on the internet with that piece of shit? Have you been on the internet all this time with that piece of shit? That's what you've been doing all week. I want to spend time with you, but you let that piece of shit get in the way and take our time. Yeah. You were telling me about a couple times, and one time you were playing Donkey Kong with him while you were on the phone with me. And you told me you were still camming with him, and that pissed me off too. Have you ever had corn pudding? I don't know yet. I just started eating it, and it's almost half gone. The pan needs to be bigger to make a bigger pie. Lol. Mom made corn pudding for me for my birthday. Today was the first time I've had it. It's not bad, but I won't make a habit of eating it. It's sweet. But there's no sugar added to it, though. It's just sweet from the corn. What are you doing, honey? Did you see how much of the pie I ate? Ed Sharon made that for my birthday. It's really good shit. I could have eaten the whole thing, but I thought you might frown on it. Lol. Lol. Why do you say that? I don't mind, though. As long as you still love me. Smiley face. I got more sheetrock today, too. I'm going to put up on Wednesday because it's supposed to rain. I stopped at the teardown house on the way back from Home Depot and got 10 trash bags full of blown insulation too. Me and Paul took a good look at the boards and the house is built with and they're in really good condition. I'm going to go over next week and start tearing it apart. Do you have any doctor appointments this week? Because I like knowing that stuff. I want to know about your progress. Call me crazy, but you know, being your fiancé... It kind of makes me care. Who's going to take you if Will's not back? Honey, I can ask you questions. It doesn't mean you don't have to figure it out, lol. You're lucky. You don't have to ask. Because I just tell you because I want to include you in my life. Business, so you don't have to ask. You didn't ask me to do it, but... Like I said, I like you knowing more about my life than anyone else. Then when you get here, you don't have to try to guess because you already know. Nope. I ignored it, but I'm still trying to figure out how I can demand it when I tell you what's happening with me. Oh, I like knowing things about your daily life. It's hard when you don't tell me even when I ask, because it leaves the conversation circling around me and my daily life. We're going to be husband and wife, honey. It's okay that we know each other's daily lives. It kind of happens when two people are a couple. Lol. I don't want you to do things that are going to put you in danger of getting sick again. And in the hospital, honey. I didn't mean to sit in the house doing nothing. I just want you to be safe and not go to bars and stuff like that. Going outside is good. When you're around people you know and you know they don't have the virus. Like the horseback riding with Maggie Joe and window shopping with Will is all good. Safe things to do that doesn't put you in the line of fire to get sick again. I remember very well how much you hated being in the hospital for that month. It sucked. What does sure mean? Sure I don't want you to get sick again? Why would I want you to get sick again? I know what you meant, honey. I just wanted you to spit it out, lol. And no, I don't mind you going out where it's safe. Ha! You're right, honey. Sorry about that. Mm, I was hoping that they could have a vaccine for COVID now. But now they're saying the beginning of next year. I have to make another payment on your ring this week, my love. I can't remember how much is left. I'm anxious to be able on the phone with you again, precious. Are you going in the hot tub tonight? Honey, what's your blood type? Honey, did you fall asleep? Hmm. Maybe you're in the hot tub or mad at me or on the internet with that piece of shit. On my birthday. I don't know when you don't say. Apparently I'm being ignored again. Nice. Unfucking believable Explain. Get rid of that internet piece of shit completely and stay off the internet. 
I want the truth about everything tomorrow when I get home. And keep your cam off. And his. And put a fucking shirt on. Fucking bullshit, Jamie. Are you sure you love me? Right now you're ignoring me. Don't think you've ignored my questions enough. I should probably answer that one. Apparently not. Was the whole eight months just a game to get a reaction from me on my birthday? The pics you sent me. Are they really you? Tell that internet piece of shit to never contact you again. And you get rid of his number and stay out of the chat rooms. Fucking bullshit. I want answers tomorrow. And I want to know everything. Including the Kyrie bullshit. I'm going to fucking bed. I want to know everything. I didn't do this shit. We've been perfect with each other re until last week. What the fuck? I deserve answers. Are you sure that you love me? You can't blame me for having questions coming into my head for this either. I fucking believed in you and love you. And look what you have done last week, Jamie. How could you do that to us? I asked you because of the timing of it all. I have that, Reet. And do not call me liar after what was taking place last week. That's hypocritical. Reet now. We're both wound up. Let's talk tomorrow because I really don't want to believe anything bad and you deserve the chance to explain. I'm sorry I got wound up. I'm upset and had a hard time staying calm. I love you. Good night. And be nice to me. It's still my birthday. I can't sleep. I believe you're not fake. And I'm sorry those questions popped in my head. I believe in you. And I love you. And I believe we have is real. And I know this stuff can never happen again if we're going to make it together. That internet piece of shit has to go now. And you can explain the Kyrie thing to me tomorrow, okay? I'm not going to assume anything. Because I know nothing about it yet. I just want you to tell me the truth about it tomorrow, please. If the day ever comes that you can screw your head on straight and want a real face-to-face -face relationship without your exes around you 24-7, you know where to find me. Unless I'm already taken, then I guess you would have missed the boat. Tell MJ I said she is a fat ash. For a country boy. Lol. It really sucks that you couldn't have been real with me, Jamie. I really believed in you. To show you the intelligence level of a fat ass bimbo MJ. I just sold two Beanie Babies yesterday and made $450. Yeah. She's very smart for a country boy. Lol. I found out you're fake. What was your purpose in all that anyway? I'm going to be changing my phone number. I'm so sorry that you couldn't be real with me. You can let those pieces of shit know that I'm going to get the last laugh when I'm done. I don't give a fuck about MJ, and I'm pissed as hell at you for not being real with me. I'm going to change my number because of you and your pathetic friends playing shit with me. I can't even have an account on eBay because of the disgusting obsession you idiots wanted to find me. It's fucking pathetic, and I'm doing something about it this time. Some Jack A's found out. They made my name a little too easy to find, and somehow they found out I was going to be back on the internet. And there's only one person that I told. You. As much as I don't want to believe you, I do. Unfortunately, you wanted to trade me for MJ. It sucks because I'm still in love with you and still have your posters on my walls. I wish you would have just done what was needed with Stacy, so we could have been all set. I was selling the Beanie Babies and a few other things. Coins, a leather jacket. I'm waiting for eBay to call me so I can take them all off and close my account. I'm sorry you want MJ and not me. I really have my heart set on ass. I really wish you could have kept it separated. I'm waiting for eBay to call me so they can help me delete my stuff off my account and close my account. Is it really what you want to be with MJ, not me? You're not giving me much response to that question. You've always been important to me. So I guess that's what I'm doing. I believe in you. I trust that I'm not wrong in that. And I assume that you know who this is. I thought you might leave me a message, but apparently you were busy. In the last few days, Stacy told me and it was due on that bullshit. The assholes recorded me and put it on the internet. Stacy did. I'm going to call a civil lawyer this afternoon. Bear with me, okay? I'm driving. I'm home now. Because I'm tired of being harassed by those assholes.
I just called the attorney's office. She took down my name and is doing a conflict check. And then we'll have the attorney call me directly. Yep. I have to talk to them first and let them know what's going on. Then find out how much they charge. Then come up with the money. Bah, it's going to happen. Harassment will be one. Maybe stalking another. Don't know yet. We'll have to talk to the lawyer first and see what they say. What are you doing today? Panning for gold. I might have a job. Apparently you spent a lot of time with the bitch you cheated on me with, so I'll leave you alone. Are you and her an item now? Do you remember back when you first went there and told me that you two were just friends? Have you ever heard that song entitled, You Left Me Just When I Needed You Most? I still love you. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Good morning. You don't seem to be wanting to put any attention to me now. Seems all your attention is on that disgusting bitch. And it seems more and more like I was nothing more to you than a tool to make that nasty bitch jealous. If that was not the case, you would have wanted to come here and be with me. Instead, you're there. Still. But there was no game, right? All you had to do was give Stacy your info. There was no reason for you not to, if you really wanted to be with me. You were the only one that could have changed everything about the way I talked, the way I felt, and the way I behaved. And you could have done it all by talking to Stacy. You refused. I will call if you don't have that bitch there with you. I called. You didn't answer. Okay. I'm sitting up in bed watching a movie. The spot next to me still has your name on it. You're the only one that can change things for us. Good night. Doesn't matter what I think on that subject when you constantly repeat your ass comment. Good night. I don't want to interrupt your precious time with the bitch. Tough. I don't like her. She's playing you and you're naive about it. It's fucked up. And she's a bitch. Oh yeah. And you threw us away for her. You're naive with her and she's a bitch. Good night. P.S. Also now maybe it will make more sense to you why I couldn't have security with you. Having your exes in your life 24-7 also. You mean honest? Never ask me to be nice concerning her. It won't happen. And don't defend that bitch to me. Because you know that doesn't sit well with me. Jamie, all you're doing is tell me that I was a fool and made that bitch jealous. I'm so disappointed. I stopped talking so instead of calling like we used to when we wouldn't let each other go. You jumped into that bitch's bed. Where am I supposed to find security next? What are you doing? Are you feeling okay? What's wrong? How did you get lightheaded? Maybe you should mention it when you see the doctor. I'll leave you alone so you can rest. I'm here if you want to decide to call me tonight. I guess you're not going to call, so I'm going to bed. I hope you feel better. Good night. Good morning. I hoped you would leave me a message Let me know how you were feeling. Update me, please. And to answer your question from the other day, I want to believe that we're destined to be together, but you haven't taken enough steps to solidify that. So right now, all I can do is hang on to hope while living my life. Good. Boy. Do you know for a fact that we are destined to be together? Okay. While we're on the subject, how do you feel about us? I don't hide anything, so it doesn't faze me to tell you that I'm still in love with you. But I would really like to know what your true feelings for me are. Will be open with me and tell me? Do you still want to have that ring on your finger? Because I'm not convinced that you want us to be over. Because we had a lot for each other, and I think it's still there with both of us. I think you still want to wear the ring, and I don't believe you like the thought of just turning away from each other when we haven't had the chance to have what we had planned on having together. Am I wrong? Asking me that is like asking me why you gave me a fake last name. I don't know why. You also have to keep track of the things you've said to me recently. That you are with her because I stopped talking to you? Do you really stop to think just exactly how fucked up you have made all this become? This whole time you've been there, even when it was you and me, you wouldn't shut up about how great that bitch is. Sort of the way I feel you cheated on me every time you were with her, because you lied about keeping your feelings separated. And again, I feel like I was a tool for you to make that stupid bitch jealous. Pathetic.
You mean narratives like you calling me a liar so many times when you knew you had lied to me about your last name? Or all the Rod and Todd and Chef Jeff bullshit? And you being pregnant? And you being all good with our engagement being broken off? And MJ and John Michael's engagement being broken off? Because now you two are together? It didn't take you too long to get past me and John Michael, did it? Like I told you before, remember what she said to you before, you were only a fling. What makes you think that bitch feels any different now? Because she thought you were pregnant with her fiancé's baby? Think about that, seriously. And you want to throw us away for a selfish bimbo like that? Alrighty then. Show us how serious you are about ass. There was only one reason you wanted to go specifically there. If it was really me you loved, then you'd want to be here. If it was really me you loved and wanted, then you would have been here. My trailer's no excuse, because I would have done what I needed to make it better. And a specific specialist there is no excuse either, because there are specialists all over the US. And I was a tool for you, and I'm disgusted by it, because of how much of me I put into ass. But no matter how what I did wasn't good enough, because you was already where you intended to be. That's the whole reason that you didn't want us to get back together when I tried to get us back together. You had a hidden agenda. You can't be without their exes in their life 24-7. It wasn't me. It doesn't look good when it's all put out in black and white, does it? The fact is, you were never going to come here and it was all a bunch of lies, just like all the other trolls. Hurt you? I'm laying out the truth. If it weren't the truth, then you would have wanted to be here with me when we were engaged. Not down there with that bitch. To get her approval on me and use her as an excuse so you could have continuous sex with every fucking night. And to drag your other ex around when you would not want to be without him. You would have wanted a life with me in person. Not a life with me over the phone. And in person with your exes. And living with them 24-7. And having sex with one of them every day. While not caring if the other one sees you naked. That's the game of a troll. I told you I'll quit smoking. I told you I'll get a job. Why would I rush when you no showed no desire to be here with me? But every desire to stay there where that stupid bitch is. And not say shit to her when she will put me down to you. It's not something I want to believe. But it's something that you put in front of my face. When you shouldn't give your info to Stacey. If you were serious about ass. Then you would have done whatever you needed to. But... That's not something that you wanted to do, regardless if it would take so many problems away from us. You left me when I needed you most. But you have that PCP bitch that you could never get enough of, though. I stopped talking to you. You didn't waste any time hooking up with that PCP bitch. If you want us to happen, you had many months to make it happen. But you did what you set out to do. Troll me and find an excuse to have sex with that nasty slut every night. You lied to me the whole fucking time. Congratulations. Fucking pathetic. Tell that pathetic bitch she's a slot. And I'm sorry you became nothing more than another troll. I could, but what would it matter? All you ever gave a fuck about was using me to make that disgusting bitch jealous. And continuously lying to me. I really thought you were different. You're different. Then what's your real last name? Why were you able to go places where COVID was hot, but you couldn't come to see the man you was engaged with? How is it you so quickly got together with the ex that you said you could keep your feelings separated from work? How is it that you could put your friends so far before ass? Keep playing the victim, right? Good one. My ex pulled a lot of fucked up shit. Me, on the other hand, did everything I could from our distance to pay attention to only you. While you were putting your attention on that stupid bitch. That is once again using you as a fling until she gets back together with John Michael. Then where is that going to leave you? Do you really believe that she is going to give a shit about what you want? No. She's going to tell you that if you don't like it then you can leave. Yeah. She is a real keeper. What a peach. And to me being different is being real and showing up face to face. Not shoving your face in your ex's crotch. And saying it's a job. And I can keep it separate. Almost time for you to go munch on that nasty pussy that you spent months cheating on me with. Her pussy is disgusting. And that was all you did was cheat on me. What is pathetic is saying, yes I will marry you, bah. 
I want a $250,000 wedding. And oh yeah, I'm going to fuck everything that I can. And I want to be alright with it. And by the way, I also want to have sex with every one ex every night. And let my other ex constantly see me naked. But it's only work. And I can keep it separated. And the reason you didn't get back with me is because you were too busy cheating on me with that nasty bitch. And was too afraid to be real. That's why I kept your exes with you all the time. And constantly got them involved in our relationship. That was pathetic, Jamie. Winnie didn't even do something pathetic like that. You knew I had an issue with your job, but I believed in you until you pulled this pathetic pile of bullshit with that nasty bitch. And wanting a wedding with that price tag is a nice dream to have, so I'm not going to make fun of that dream. But at some point, reality needs to sink in, and you need to stop and think about if it's really that important to have such an expensive wedding, or is it more important to be married to the person you want to spend your life with? Money isn't everything. A life with someone that you love is. I gave you love. You gave me all the horseshit of your extras being involved in our relationship at the bang of your hand. Yeah, and look how easy it was for you to move on with the bitch that you cheated on me with for months. I'm just repeating myself here. You know how pathetic your behavior was, but you don't want to take responsibility for it. That was something that was really great about Winnie. Even though she was a flake, she was devoted to me. She didn't just jump in bed with anyone when we stopped talking. She didn't point her ass in the direction of her exes. And she didn't drag them around the country with her or use them to make me jealous. And she didn't stop telling me that she loved me and started telling her exes that she loved them. I never said you were a terrible person, because you're not. But you never made decisions on what was good for us. You based your decisions on what your exes would say to you. I always thought that you were an independent woman that could make her own mind. Unfortunately, it turns out that you can only make decisions with the help of your exes. Never a good thing to bring your exes into another relationship. As you can see, it only ends up turning into shit. You don't want to read what is true, and you must have to go make money, wink wink, soon anyway. I'm done texting. Call me if you want, it's up to you. But I'm done texting tonight. Well, wink wink. Hee <laughs> hee. I am. You just made me get out of bed to read that because I have my phone plugged in and sitting in the closet window. Getting back in bed right now. If you want to call, you can, but I'm done reading text tonight. Good morning. I want you to know that we fight because we don't want to be wrong about anything even though we both have been wrong about a lot of things. We both hate admitting when we are and that's where we fight and won't stop. I hate that you lied to me about your last name, but it's also important for you to know that I do trust you and can understand that you did it to help protect yourself. It's past time that you started trusting me though. Even though I believe that you do trust me, it's still something that has to be shown by you. I want us back, but that's something that only you can make happen. And you know the things that has to be done in order for it to happen. All I can do is hope. I guess you're not talking to me today. Apparently I'm second to that stupid bitch and your other friends. It's been that way since you've been down there, so I guess it's nothing new. I'm so disappointed and disgusted, it's pathetic. You're where you wanted to be though, and you have the bitch that you used to get and cheated on me with. So I hope you're fucking happy being with that stupid cunt. Tell that stupid bitch to unplug her nose when she sings. She sounds like she has two bananas stuck up her nose. And you acted the way you did on purpose for your hidden agenda. So pathetic, troll. I have a date tonight with a woman from a convenience store that has been wanting to go out with me for a while. I plan on bringing her home and using Lamandre on her. Hope you had a good Valentine's Day with a stupid nasty bitch. Our dreams together shot to shit because you couldn't be real. Good morning, beautiful. We need to talk about the way you're acting with dipshit. Last night irritated me. Ugh. Damn, that little fuck irritates me. You haven't texted me all day today. Must have been a party hired night. I assume. Yeah, I know. Force of habit. I'm frustrated. Every time I start doing something, I end up running into something else I have to deal with. Yeah, we both have the among other things, so let's not start. At least we know how to deal with each other, and that's good. I've been under the trailer trying to jack up that side, and it's been a very hairy situation. If I don't do a rate, I might not get out from under there. Are you not in agreement with me on my statement? 
Are you at work now? Oh. Do I get to talk to you on the phone tonight? Or do you have another night of spending time with the little bitch boy playing the game? You know who I'm talking about. Rod. Are you with him right now? Apparently you don't want to tell me. I'm sick of him being around all the time, Jamie. I'll give it a rest when you get his hair from being stuck up your ass all the time. I'm fucking sick of all our time being given to that fucking asshole. Yeah, our time. Or do you consider our time yours and Rod's time, Neil? Because it sure the fuck seems like it. And apparently you want to give all your fucking time to that piece of fucking shit and zero to me. I guess it's fucking Rod you want and not me. So I have a great fucking future with a fucking dork and thanks for fucking nothing. I've tried to tell you how much of him being around all the time is pissing me off. And talking to that little bitch the other night made it worse. You don't give a fuck about the way I feel about him. You just spend more time with when I tell you I don't like him being around all the fucking time. And give him any time that you and I can spend together. I even wanted you to help him find a girlfriend last night. But you didn't want to do that because you want his fucking attention on you. I'm fucking sick of it and you don't hear me. I'm fucking sick of him being around you all the time, Jamie. Who did you spend your time with the last two fucking days, Jamie? It sure the hell wasn't me. And I've wanted you to come here. But you say this bullshit stuff of being concerned about the way I was acting and wanted to bring that piece of shit with you to meet me instead of coming here and actually spending time with me. Like we planned to before. That hurt me so bad, you obviously have no idea how much. You say you've told him before that you're not interested in him, but he won't listen. Make him fucking listen, Jamie. You want me to stop feeling so threatened by that piece of shit you found on the internet when it was us? Then make him fucking listen. That piece of shit will not come up here. And your so-called fear of coming up here and spending time with me is fucking horseshit. You just fucking hate it when I'm read. You had no problem saying goodbye to me. Funny how you have such a hard fucking time saying goodbye to your little virgin bitch boyfriend. You're not read hauling some piece of shit in from the internet and putting him before us. You don't care how I feel about you and you don't give a shit about spending time with me. But it sure does matter that you give your time to that piece of shit. The you but in our lives from the fucking internet. You want me to feel secure? Let's get on the phone with him and you tell him that you're not interested in him for a boyfriend and make him know it and I will just listen. Here's something for you to think about. How fair have you been to me and ass? You brought a piece of shit in and are spending time with him and saying fuck you to me. Not only that, you're letting him think that there's a possibility for him and you. I told you before that I'm not playing a game. You want him then go get him. I'm done fucking around where you spend all kinds of time with that piece of shit. You had many opportunities to come up here and be with me. Stop fucking around, Jamie. It's gotten old. The only one holding us back is you. We is not just about you, Jamie. We is about us. And when you bring some piece of shit in from the internet and start spending all kinds of time with him, you already know for a fact that it's going to piss me off. And when you start comparing me to that piece of shit... You already know for a fact that it's not going to go over well with me. Especially with what we've already had together. You're not read about everything. And you certainly not read about leading him on. And wanting me to act as if it's nothing when it's something that means a great deal to me. Yeah. And you made sure he knew that you didn't want to be with me. So it would keep his hopes alive. And you compared how he acted to the way I acted. And you know damn well that I acted like I did because of the way I feel about you. And it just threw me to the floor again when you tried comparing him to me. Why didn't you tell him that you and I were working on getting back what we had before and making it better instead of I'm telling both of you that I don't want anyone right now? You didn't say that because you wanted to let him continue thinking that he is a still a possibility and didn't care how I would feel about your words. As long as he still thought there was a possibility, that's all that mattered. You specifically said that you were telling both of us. You didn't just tell Rod. You wanted to make sure that you told Rod and me so that he would know that he still had a shot with you and that would still keep him hanging on. Why didn't you just tell Rod? Because he holds the money that you want, Jamie. You are too wrapped up in money. You have let money get in the way of us being together. You have no faith in me being able to make enough money to support us. And you mentioned about Will and Maggie Joe saying that they will support you for the rest of your life. 
That is not the way to show someone how much they mean to you. Going through times together, good and bad, and staying together is the way to show someone that they are the one you want to be with, regardless of anything. Looking for whoever has the most money is trying to put me down for anything I do doesn't make me or you happy. Us being able to be together is the only thing that will make us happy because then we will only have us that we can depend on and you and I together will never fail each other as a couple face to face. Holy fuck. You having to keep that piece of shit hanging around and hanging on to hope is you being cautious to not lose money that you can make from him. You have put him in the way of us and told you from the time you met him it would happen. And here we are. Holy fuck, Jamie. You made sure you told him and me. What are you not understanding with that? And you did that to make him feel like there was still a chance for him. That's why he kept running his mouth to me. Why didn't you just tell him and not me? Whatever. Go spend time with that piece of shit like I know you want to. He must be having convulsions by now being away from you for this long. You tell both of us, Jamie. Not just him. You had to make sure you included me when you said that for the sake of him. Stop dodging it. Well, I'm not dodging that you told him, but you're dodging that you included me for the sake of him. Just tell me the truth about why you included me when you told him, Jamie. Asked and answered. Your turn. Scroll up to where you found my response of, yeah. And then I said other things. Why do I want to give you a straight answer when you don't want to answer my question? And what words of, I love you, and I want to marry you, can you not hear? I just ruined my pizza. Fuck. Yes, I will marry you. You don't want to answer my question either. Are you saying night pretty early, aren't you? Spending your time with anyone special again at night? But because if I answer your question, you won't answer mine. Then you will get your own way again. I know you, and I know how you do things with me. Okay. Have fun spending another night with that piece of shit. Good morning, beautiful. I love you. Not a word from you yet today. And the distance gets further and further apart. But closer and closer for someone else. Nothing. You haven't wanted to pay me any attention up to now. There's no reason to start now but just because I said something. I'm positive you did skip out on giving the piece of shit your attention though. I'll give you a simple yes or no if you tell me who was closest to you in physical distance last night. At your house. During your little get together. Of course. I'm sure I can guess that answer. That piece of shit virgin that you... Brought in from the internet, that you seem to want to spend more time with than me. But let me guess, it's all my fault that you brought him in and couldn't get rid of him, right? You want me to answer that? Then you need to start answering my questions too. Because you're so close to me putting my guard up again, and all because of the way you act with him. Yes. Now the fucking bullshit better stop with him, Jamie. The only one that is hurting ass is you. Because you don't keep your friends away from ass. You know what my issue is and I'm still not happy with your approach for the sake of him. Keep it up, Jamie. I'm so floored and upset about us being in this position that we're so positive we would never be in because of some internet jackies. Get real, Jamie. I try to get you to stay away from internet people, but staying away from internet people was something you don't want to do because that would mean you would have to take my feelings into consideration. And if you keep hanging around him like you have been, then I'm just going to start drifting away. Because you have made the guy a threat to me. And I'm getting tired of all the hurting it causes me. If he can't show respect for us, trying to get back what we had, and making it better, then I want him gone. And can find someone else to do his little romantic fucking flicks with too. You fucking met him in person, Jamie. You could have met me in person a long fucking time ago, but that was my fault, re. Not. Stop fucking defending him to me. Do you defend me to him? Cause you didn't on the phone. Who is your loyalty to, Jamie? Holy fuck. You have that fucking guy around you all the fucking time, Jamie. You told yourself that he would not listen to you telling him you don't want him. But you just keep letting him hang around you constantly. Then that fucking ignorant little fucking romantic fantasies flick of his just royally pissed me off even more. And I told you to rebook it the next day, so let's not go there. Here's a thought. Why don't you book a flight for the 20th? Then you can meet Sue also, and someone else will be here too. And you won't have to your so-called excuse of being concerned about meeting the guy you were engaged to. Because that fucking guy is not coming here. 
and you knew yourself already that there's nothing to be concerned about. I know you probably forgot I told you this, but I put you first reet next to Moan. And if that doesn't tell you how important you and your safety is to me, you need to reevaluate your thinking. And Sue already knows that I'm in love with you because I told her. Yeah, what the fuck ever. You fucking ignore every fucking thing that I say. You just come up with some stupid fucking bullshit to not come see me. And anything at all an excuse to stay right there with your fucking friends that have shoved your ass constantly. Jamie, you know how I felt about you since the day we started. I would fucking die to save your life. So don't fucking give me any shit about why I told you to cancel that flight. Because you knew how hired it was for me then and how confused and upset I was. You knew I wanted you here and for you to try to punch me with that is fucked up. There is no way that I can tell you how deep my feelings for you are. To not be able to spend time with you in person kills me. So when some fucking guy from the internet is there and trying to take you away from me, you can bet your ass I'm going to be extremely upset about it. And that guy will never want to meet me face to face. Just about everything that I have here is in some way something that you picked out for me to buy for us. This place is all about what I want us to start together with, and that figures. You wouldn't answer my question again. No, you have not. Do I mean anything to you like I used to? Yes or no? Yes or no? The only way that I've taken any response to that question will be an answer of no. If that's the case, then I will have something thinking to do. Voicemail. Blow. You have Rod now. Kiss my ace. Well, you don't want me either. You just want to hide from me and stay there with Will and Maggie Jo for the rest of your fucking life. And play me. I told you I'm not playing a fucking game. We had a life plan together and you constantly fucked it all up. Because you have your friend shoved up your ass and in your ear whispering shit to you about me. Fuck that. I want someone that wants to keep her promises, not put her friends first. That's all you did was play a game. If there was no game, you'd have been here instead of all these bullshit excuses. Then you go online and guys when we're together. That was fucking bullshit. Then you invite one of the fucking assholes there to meet you. And he stays there and invites another fucking asshole from the internet. There that you when we were together. A fucking pathetic game. I'm sure you were probably watching the videos with Rod while you were sitting there with him at lunch. And laughing at me too. Great fucking job, Jamie. You shall be so proud. Then don't I feel empty with you already, so it sucks that you don't want me anymore. Hmm. I didn't realize that extra was there. It was from a message I started texting to you earlier. Start with the letter I and go from there. I love you, Jamie. If you only ever really knew how deep my love is for you, would never have had a second thought being here with me. I always wanted to revolve my world around you and that was all that mattered to me. I wish you could have known that. You know, I have an idea if you want to make us work out and really give it our best shot ever. Call me bros or we're where show me things too. Apparently you haven't read my other messages I sent you. I want a response so that I knew you were still there instead of typing it all out and someone else grabbing your phone and reading our private conversations. I can set Sue up with Roy. That will help give him more incentive to go through the program and someone to help him stay focused and something to look forward to when he's done with the program and to stay sober. And he's really a good guy when he's sober. It would also give Sue a good man and something to look forward to when Roy gets through the program. That's my thought on Roy and Sue. My thought on us is that we be to each other what we both know we want to be. That means my lies will stop and you can figure out your part. Because I've told you enough times the thing that bothers me most. And also I will stop my jealous bullshit and trust you the way I know I do. And I will give my all to stop smoking. Fuck, I have a list I know. Damn. What do you say, Schnickums? Do you believe as much as I do that we're worth giving our best shot ever? I'm calling you. Don't answer, okay? Okay. I got the most important parts of the song in there. I love you. Good night. Are you okay? So that you know ahead of time, Dwayne is going to call me at some point for the weekly check-in for Clash. So if I take extra long to respond, then that's the reason. I don't bot.
he still calls for check-in every Monday. Because we can't have class, he still has to call in case something has happened that he needs to be aware of. You didn't get much sleep. You must be tired still, aren't you? My service is acting up again. If you sent me any messages, I haven't got them yet. Have to be patient, I guess. What fourth question? Oh, you mean for Clash? No, I haven't taken the time yet because of everything else. I go through every question with you before I present it to him. Why don't you get more sleep, hun? Don't be upset and worried. We're not breaking up. We had a fight and we'll get through it. We're just the two of us together. But for now, get some more sleep so that your day goes better, okay? I'll be working around the house today. Don't you want more sleep? If you don't want more sleep, then I'll sit here and talk to you. I would have thought you would have want more sleep. Okay. I went to our teardown house this morning to get more stuff. I went into the attic for the first time. There's a few old things up there, but not much. Paul went with me. Some old tin cage, a tin dollhouse, a couple old games and books. More crap stuff than anything. I need my leg to heal. Slows me down a lot. There's an antique set of scales that I'll take a pick of and send you. Hang on. You want to keep them or sell them? Okay, I'll have to clean it up a bit. Okay, honey. I just got off the phone with Dwayne. It went good. I told him about the teardown house and the business that I was going to have to talk to Stacy about getting my computer back because it'll make it so much easier and faster with the business. What are you doing? You're so precious. I love you. Okay, honey. I just lightened the load of starting the business. Do you still want BB septic and construction? Okay. She's going to be mailing me a pack to fill out so she can get my EIN and state business numbers. They do direct deposit for any account I want. They do extra employees if I hire any. They help with a lot of stuff to help start it up. And it takes away a lot of work for $125 and then only $20 per week after that. Yeah, that's what I said too. And I've hired one person to steal $20. Any more than one and the price goes up a little. I didn't ask her how much though, so I'll have to ask her next time I talk to her. After I get the EIN number, I can start up the business checking account. Then I'll have to talk to the bank about 401k and head look to find medical insurance. We can compare your medical insurance and mine and see who's the better one to have when we get married. I'm going to have mine to the business, so if we can find one that's as good or better... And what you have now, when we're married, we can put you on mine. Then it won't cost you anything. Now I need you to keep your fingers crushed, honey. I'm going to call Stacy and talk to her about getting my computer back. And I'll text you just as soon as I'm off with the phone with her, okay? I just called her, honey. I had to leave a message to call me back. Yeah, probably. If she doesn't call me back today, then she will tomorrow. Are you still watching videos? I want to have a special date tonight before you have to go to work. Shit, honey, hang on. I think Stacy left me a voicemail. Nope, wasn't Stacy. It was H not Block. I need to call her back really quick. Okay, honey. She's having another person call me on Wednesday at 10 to help me get everything set up. I still have to fill out the paperwork that they're sending me, though. Now about a special date. I was thinking that I could cut the tip of a condom off, put the condom on, then the pecker pouch over there, and we could have our phone checks. I haven't worked hard today, so I won't be cranky. Smiley. Then if you want to see it, I can show you. Is it a date? I'll have you pick right under my clock, too. Is it a date, my love? Smiley. Thinking about being in your pushy. Apparently my wife disappeared on me. I'm going to have to mow the lawn, honey. I'm done mowing the lawn, honey. What are you doing, my love? Oh. I take it you didn't see the pic I sent you earlier. Wasn't important. What are you doing? I called. That fucking bullshit tells me the reason you could never pull his head out of your ass. You have wanted him in our relationship the whole fucking time. That's not loving me. There are no words for the amount I love you. Maybe the way I feel is out of Chelsea. That they can be right there with you and I can't. I'm so mad that I can't be with you right now. I'm mad that I can't hold you and touch you. I don't even think it's you or Will that I'm mad at, but it's myself. If I wasn't on probation, I'd be able to be with you. But I'd never gone through what I went through then. I never would have met you. I think about you all the time and I miss you all the time. I feel so helpless it's frustrating because all I wanted to do for my life to revolve around you. You're everything to me, Jamie. I won't bother you so you can enjoy your friends. Good night. Ugh, your fucking dog got sprayed by a fucking skunk. I lied. I'm calling. Fuck. 
I forgot you have your show. They say use tomato paste to take away skunk smell, but the only thing I have is tomato sauce and tomato soap. And I don't know if either of those will work. Fuck, it stinks. I hope this works. I, I think it's sprayed under your closet or our bedroom. Now use points all on the kitchen floor and have the door blanket that your dog rubbed the skunk piss on in the washer with bleach and washing it at extra dirty. The shit still stinks in here. I'm gonna bury my head. Egg, I won't let your dog sleep on our bed so he insists on sleeping on the floor right next to my side of the bed and he still stinks.